I've been doing something for the last two years that I haven't told a lot of people about, John. <laughs> don't get nervous. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know, man. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> right. I trust you implicitly. You know that my wife, Gracie, has a lot of health issues. For, so I hear. For yes. those of you who don't know, this is the reason I do the show is because I've learned on the job caring for a woman now for 33 years who's had 80 surgeries that I can count, about another 100, 150 smaller procedures, 80, 90, 100 doctors have treated her, 12 different hospitals, seven different insurance companies, and $10 million plus dollars that I can count. Well, that's fairly significant. Well, what does that do to the human body to go through that many surgeries, that much anesthesia, and that many antibiotics? I mean, she has really high-powered antibiotics that she's had and so forth. So some friends of ours came along to us, and they said, look, there's a different way of treating this now. The doctors have thrown all these chemicals at her through pain management and everything else, and that's we understand that. But the body can be um, – there, there, there are a lot of paths that this body can be damaged than just through surgery, and then you get an infection, you get an antibody, and get it healed up. We've got to go down to the cellular level. We've got to get healthy from, from the bottom up. And and Gracie started working with them on this regimen of this um, these nutraceuticals, and I was a little bit kind of like, eh, you know, I, everybody's always told me they got the next best thing. Well, I did it with her as well, because the stress on caregivers is is significant. Um, I mean, if you <laughs> case in point, look at me, and <laughs> don't let this happen to somebody you love. So what does it do to a human being to go through the kind of stress of caring for somebody through what I just said? And and what can you expect from that? And so I invited Mark Harris to come on to the show with me. Mark, you with me? I am here, Peter. Thank you. Happy- All right. So the, the starting point of our conversation this time, we've we've talked about Gracie. We've talked about the, the progress that she's made, which has been uh, pretty astonishing, considering that she was really at death's door less than five years ago. And I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking today about the ancillary impact of, of going through a health care crisis, which is on the caregiver and what it did to me and what it, you know, the stress levels that are still there. Let's first off, before we get any further, let's talk about what stress does to the body and uh, on all, every level, can you can you go can you mind that with us a little bit? Well, sure. I think I think primarily we can start at a foundational level that everyone uh, has to endure and struggles with something called oxidative stress, which is just simply a function of metabolism. When we eat our food, even healthy food, when we're walking, when we're breathing, when we're running, when we're exercising, or just sitting in a chair, using uh, brain power, uh, our body is metabolizing that energy and creating combustible materials and some pretty nasty waste products that when we're young, the body's very effective at eliminating those. But as we age, that system becomes compromised and the accumulation of those biochemicals, uh, and some of them are very similar to the same things coming out of your tailpipe in your automobile, carbon dioxide, sorry, monoxide and dioxide and uh, methane and some nasty stuff that you don't want clanging around in your cells. Our bodies, as we age, become less effective at dealing with the accumulation of oxidative stress or the free radical damage. And so there is actually an acceleration factor as we age, roughly the age of skeletal maturity. We crest at the top of optimal health, and you don't have to think back very far to think about how great you felt at 18 and 21 compared to now, whether you're a caregiver or a caregivee you realize that we seem to be getting older, the older we get. And so that's the foundational level uh, of metabolism is oxidative stress. And that's why we, we feel more poorly in our 70s and 80s and 90s. And especially if we are facing something chronic um, like pain or a disease state. So uh, that's the starting point. And then when you take on emotional strain and mental strain and the consistent marathon of giving care, for others. And my wife and I come from a ministry background, and I, I, it's very similar uh, when you're in a ministry community and you're providing support, ministerial support, um, whether you're in a local church or a missionary capacity as we were, uh, that can generate uh, an accumulation of emotional stress. And that manifests its ways in all kinds of biochemistry difficulties and um, muscle pain, and that begins to manifest itself over time. 
in, in really unfortunate ways. And um, we all are, are familiar with, as we age, what that begins to, uh, to bring to us, uh, not able to function uh, optimally. And uh, over time, uh, we began to see several years ago that we were watching men and women uh, actually compromised in the, the purposes of God for them and their families. And um, we, were, we were looking for solutions for that kind of dynamic. Well, and this is what brings me to the table, because as a caregiver, I will tell you, and I, my situation is such, and, and, and Gracie will back me up, we never know quite week to week what we're going to be dealing with. Um, we have a pretty good idea because we've dealt with so many different things. But, uh, for example, right now she's having uh, fairly significant problems with her right leg and uh, with getting sores and blisters. We're working on that with her prosthetist to get it fixed. But what does that mean? Well, it means that she can't walk very well. That means that she can't get out and do things. She's going to be more wheelchair bound with her prosthetic leg and being you know, out of commission as much as it, it, it needs to be. So, I mean, that's just a little thing. And then you deal with the, 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 the constant pain and so forth. And they're just always on the go. And, and I feel like that my brain has to fire, you know, all day long. From the moment I get up to the moment I put my head down, my brain is firing pretty hard. That that wears on you after 33 years, I can tell you. It just does. And I I have heard so many people talk about different things over the years. This is the next greatest thing. But I quietly did this for two years myself, still doing it. And I saw something in me. Uh, I, I don't, I'm going to throw out some figures here, and then you tell me. I am 55 years old. I do not take any medication. And yet I live with soul-crushing stress. Yes. And, um, but for two years, you guys have had me on a pretty strict regimen of what I'm supposed to be doing, and I've done it. And now I've got a couple of markers that I need to work on, which is those are diet driven and we're not going to get into judgment, Mark, Um, (laughs) but, and I can bring down my cholesterol, but it is, it is moving the right direction. Cholesterol is moving the right direction and sugars are moving in the right direction. But all those other things are showing normal at 55, living with 33 years of relentless stress. I mean, of of high intensity stress, and so I thought, okay, there's something to this stuff. And what what am I taking, and why am I taking? What is it doing for me? To help me understand, because I want to make sure I communicate this clearly, because I, I know that caregivers right now are struggling, and they are tired, and they are, they stay tired. And so I want to make yeah. sure that they understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I'm use I used me as a guinea pig. It's not a miracle drug. It's not some kind of, you know, uh, super secret thing that we got to go meet behind the dumpster and talk about. It is it is natural, and it is it is um, effective for for a different reason than we think. It, it, it it's a, it's all about building up something. So so what am I taking, and why am I taking, and what's it doing? Yeah. Well, let me clarify uh, and address your your previous uh, concern. I, I, I'm with you. I'm 54. I feel better at 54 than I did at 24. I'm sure. Um, but I should give the disclaimer: uh, these particular products are not intended to treat, cure, mitigate, prevent disease. The FDA uh, only allows pharmaceutical companies in the United States uh, to make those claims. So we we are very careful to not make those claims. And so I just want to make that perfectly clear. Okay. But our flagship product was developed with the idea that your body is already making defense chemistry, chemicals um, at the cellular level. And those are called enzymes. One of the most powerful enzymes, the master regulator, the master antioxidant of your body is something called superoxide dismutase. A gentleman by the name of Dr. Joe McCord, when he was a graduate student at Duke University in 1969, discovered that enzyme. In fact, it's measured in McCord units. It's his, his role was so significant in pioneering a field that we now know as the antioxidant. Uh, he's the father of free radical biology. Um, the antioxidant theory came from Dr. Joe McCord. He is the one who began for 40 years pioneering this science, trying to find a way to get the body, to induce the body's ability to create these antioxidant enzymes like glutathione and catalase. And if you're a practitioner or you're a scientist, you're already familiar with some of these words. 
if we can do that, rather than trying to introduce them externally, if we can get the body to do its own heavy lifting, well, that's a much more elegant and efficient method. Well, that's exactly what happened um, at the University of Colorado in Denver several years ago. ABC News had heard about this development, and it was purported to them as an anti-aging formula. Well, that, of course, is preposterous, and so they flew out an investigative journalism team featured by Emmy Award-winning John Quinones, and he walked in the door, and he said, hey, guys, uh, I'm John. I'm with ABC News. I'd, I'd like to ask you some questions. And they, uh, I watched that, that report uh, several years ago, and I was shocked when the, the doctor said, come on in and have a seat. And so uh, Quinones with ABC said, so I, we hear you've got an anti-aging formula? And they said, well, no, that, that's ridiculous. It's not an anti-aging formula. But our research deals with the process of aging and this oxidative stress biochemically. And there is a definitive link now between uh, what your body is doing on its own and the ability to reduce that oxidative stress, which leads to disease and incidentally aging. And we've developed a formula that's based on five natural ingredients that have been around for centuries that are in doing something very unique. In 6,000 years of recorded history, we've never been able to measure a significant increase on an order of magnitude beyond the sum of the parts. So antioxidants have been around for 20, 30 years. We've all taken antioxidants, vitamin E, vitamin C, resveratrol, mangosteen, and all those are great, turmeric, et cetera. What the scientists were finding was that this particular formula was activating the body's own system at the cellular level, a communication channel called the NERF2 channel. It's a transcription factor. NERF2 is a protein messenger, and when that is active, it acts like a thermostat, and it, it looks for issues. And where there is irregularities biochemically, it begins to manage those irregularities. If, if um, enzyme or genetic expression is too high, for example, it will bring that down. If it's too low, it automatically senses that and begins to induce the body's ability to create more of that gene expression. And so with particular disease states, let's say for colon cancer or atherosclerosis or Alzheimer's, the body creates a fingerprint or that disease state creates sort of a fingerprint of incorrect gene expression. So what the body begins to do, if it sees that problem, like a thermostat in your home, if it's too hot, it just kicks on the AC. If it's too cold, it just kicks on the furnace. And that is the best metaphor I can give um, for why this particular technology, again, that's all natural, which is mind-blowing to me, actually is effective. So um, that's, while that's a pretty good other... description, though. <laughs> that's a yeah. that that well, I, I think you you've really and I, I don't want to I don't I hate to even cut you off because you're on a roll here, but but I also got to come up to the break here. So. Uh, I I love that concept of it, and this is what I've been doing. So this makes perfect sense that this is equipping me to rebuild, uh, and because the stress hasn't left, it the stress hasn't left me, and um, and so this is why I do this, and this is kind of an intro that I just wanted to have to my audience for you to come and just talk about this. I'm going to put this out there on the podcast as well and on our website. And then you can go to a healthier life for you.com if you want to see more about it right this moment. A healthier life for you.com. And I would suggest you take advantage of this. Mark, can you come back? It would be my pleasure to come back, Peter. Absolutely. All right. Well, listen, Mark, Mark Harris, and he has been working with us through this and working with me, spending time with me and, and, and the team that has been working with me to help me get healthier. Healthy caregivers make better caregivers, folks. And today's a great day to start, and I don't think you're going to be able to do this all on your own. That's just 33 years of experience. 